Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 different income streams that you can plug into your business. All right, let's go. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of these different income streams here. Now, I'm gonna take my time in this video and try to explain as best as I can with each one. Um, what I recommend here is when you go through this video, don't try to do all of these things at once. It will be physically impossible to do. If I was you, I would try to pick one of these things and add it to what you're currently doing. Now, after you streamline that, then you can use other things, right? There are coaches that I work with that do all of these. Um, now, obviously, if they do all of these, they have a team in place. They have other coaches that are working for them. Like they can't physically do all these by themselves. So that is my disclaimer before you watch this and think that you're gonna just go do everything. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do that unless you have other people working with you. But these, a lot of these you can do just by yourself, right? So the first two are pretty obvious. It's camps and clinics and private training. So with camps and clinics, this can be a great income stream if you're not running a lot of consistent camps and clinics. The top coaches that I work with, they run, I would say at minimum, probably two camps uh, or clinics per month. Um, there are some coaches I work with that they run like one clinic a week. Some, some coaches run two clinics per week, depending on how their business is set up. Um, that is a great income stream that is one of those things where you're not working a lot of hours and you can generate a lot of revenue. Most coaches I know can generate between like $500 and I'd say at the highest end with the coaches that I've worked with, some coaches work, uh, you know, like one day or two day camps or clinics and they can generate like 20 grand, right? Obviously if they're doing that, they have a lot of kids there, right? So that is a great income stream for you. If you are not currently doing a lot of camps and clinics, you should start doing that. Um, and you can also partner with other local coaches and run bigger camps and clinics. That's something I recommend to a lot of the coaches that I work with. So this way you can combine with other competitors in your area and run bigger camps and clinics than, than you could by yourself, all right? That's the first one. The second one is private training. So if you do private training, if that's like one-on-one -on -one or small group um, training, uh, that could be done to where you're charging premium fees and you have things set up to where your clients are with you for a long period of time. So you have the parents either prepay for like a year of training or six months of training, or you put them on a payment plan, right? And with that, what you're doing is you're getting less clients that are committing more money, right? There are many coaches that I've worked with that have um, and they like this setup in their business where they'll run camps and clinics and then during the week they'll run private training. So their private training can serve as a base of income and they could probably do anywhere between like $3,000 a month to like seven or $8,000 a month depending on how much they're charging and then they can run camps and clinics. Many coaches I know can build a six-figure business with just those two things, right? And again, with that, you don't need to have a ton of clients with private training. Uh, that's going to come down to math and it's going to come down to what you offer. My biggest thing is if you offer one-on-one -on -one training or even like small group training, you should offer a premium uh, fee for that, right? And again, a lot of that's going to come down to what you offer, right? And your experience level and your confidence level as far as charging, right? Next is online coaching. I get hit up every single day from people that are like, hey Ben, I wanna start an online um, training business. Um, I want to coach kids internationally. So th this is the thing, a lot of coaches want to do that, but most people don't take the time to learn, right? They don't want to uh, learn YouTube. They don't want to learn copywriting. They don't want to learn how to even set up a digital product. Um, now, what I would say with online coaching and digital products, this is a great thing to have only if you are willing to learn, right? And here's what I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine 
going to one of your camps and clinics and running like a two hour clinic. And then on the way home, you stop at the gas station, you check your email and you're like, wow, someone just paid me a hundred dollars to buy my digital product. And at that point, you didn't have to fulfill any service. You did not have to talk to the person who just bought. You didn't have to do anything, but you did have to do work on the front end to get that customer, right? This is why I think online coaching is one of the best ways to grow your income if you have things set up correctly, right? That means you have leads coming in online. That means you have an email list. That means you are learning marketing and you become a really good copywriter. Um, and that means you have like a really simple system set up so when someone does buy, they can go access your product right away. Now, if you're wanting to do online coaching, I recommend that you use the same software I use. It's called Kajabi. That manages all of your email marketing. It manages all of your uh, customers. That manages... Um, everything within your course so you can upload everything there and you can stream on your course i've used that for the past six years it works unbelievably good um but i always tell people uh who ask me about online coaching because like i have a lot of experience doing that already with digital products uh, at this point i've done probably over 60 digital products over the last five six years so got a lot of experience there but if you do it um, that can be a great income stream that can work for you while you are doing other things. And that just comes down to learning and it comes down to a lot of patience because a lot of people that try to start online coaching, they do it for like a month and then they stop. Like if you really commit time to it every single day, that can be a great asset for the future, right? Great asset for the future. That is, in my mind, something every coach should learn and they should take the time to learn. And the reason why is because over the next 10 to 20 years, online coaching is going to get bigger, bigger, and bigger. And you're either going to have it set up or you're going to watch someone else do it, right? I'd rather you be the person who sets it up um, because if you have that set up, it also adds more value to your current clients. So they can train with you when they aren't physically with you. All right, and that is such a great thing to have. And when I say digital products, that means that you've already done a pre recorded video and they can log in and go watch it, which does not require any more effort on your end. On the front end, it does. On the back end, um, once they buy your product, like they have your product and it's sitting there. All right. Next one here, this is also something I recommend coaches that I work with and coaches that um, ask me about this to do. And it's consulting. Now, this is can be done in person. This can be done online. Either works. So this could be, all right, in, on your end, if you're whatever coach, or sorry, whatever sport you're coaching, where it says how to, all right, this could be how to get recruited, how to have more confidence, how to get more playing time, how to play this position better. It could be anything, right? And with this is what you're doing is you're, you're solving a specific problem that your clients have and you charge a premium for it. So this could be done all over Zoom. This could be done through a digital product. This could be done at Starbucks. Uh, this could be done at a library and you rent out a meeting space for two hours and you put on a small group event. Like, I'm not gonna try to give you a million different ideas here, all right? But with the consulting, that is something that you could easily add to what you do that brings in a different component to what you do normally with private training, group training, or camps or clinics. And in my mind, this is something that you can easily set up. And what you have to do is you have to, you have to like kind of take a step back and realize what I know as a coach is very valuable. And I can strip away certain things that I know and turn that into a service. And that's what ultimately consulting, that's what it is. You're solving a problem. And parents and your clients will pay you a premium to have that problem solved. Because for example, you might be able to solve a specific problem at camps and clinics, but 
maybe kids need more attention about how to get recruited or how to eat healthier or like, I mean, I could think of anything, right? That is where you have to figure out what you'd want to offer, right? That is a great income stream that you can use. Um, I feel like any coach, if they really want to, if they put their head down and they critically think about what they, what problems they can solve, could easily add between twenty and fifty thousand dollars next year by adding a consulting element to their business. All right, next one here. A lot of coaches that I work with, they do this. All right, so you can have uh, game evaluations where you go watch physically. You're there watching the games. You can charge $100 per game or $200 per game. You can write up a professional report once the game is done and send it to the kid or send it to the parents. This is something that, again, like you're probably already going to watch games, but you don't charge for it. And you could charge for this. Like There are many coaches that I know that right now, they'll on average probably make an extra $500 per month because they have this set up. All right? $500 a month times 12 months. Like assuming that kids are playing year round, um, you know, that's like $6,000 extra uh, that you can generate just with this one income stream here, right? And that should be an income stream for you because if you're going to spend the time and go watch games, in my mind, you should get paid for it. And parents will pay you for that. They, they absolutely will. They, they want critical feedback. And by you going to watch, like, I mean, that solves a big problem right and a lot of coaches do that for free i used to do that for free all the time then i realized no i need to charge for this that my time is very valuable and parents will invest into something like that you just have to learn how to sell it right next one here this is uh, a couple clients that i work with do this and this is a kind of a more complex setup but this is something you can absolutely do all right, so I'm going to give you an example. One of the guys that I work with, what he does is he has a, um, it's like a videographer. And this guy will go and professionally film games, and then he will uh, cut up the film and send it back to the coach that I work with. So the coach that I work with, he doesn't film the game. He has someone that goes and does it. And from there, what he does is he gets the film. All right, it's already edited. And he just does a voiceover, and he's doing a voiceover critique of how that athlete is playing. Now, the reason why this is beneficial is because he can get all of the clips from that game done before he even sees them, right? And what he does, he just literally puts the, uh, the footage up on, on his computer. He does a voiceover. And then he emails that link back to the parents and to the kid. And the kid can go back home and watch. All right, this is what my coach thinks of what I'm doing. And that is such a great way kids can learn is by hearing their coach do a voiceover of their game, right? That's huge. Like they can't get that anywhere else. Their, their club coach or their, their high school coach is never going to do that, right? And this is something you can charge a premium and you should charge a premium because if you're going to have like a videographer or someone go out there and film the game, which I recommend, because if you're going to be the one that does that, you have to go buy a really nice camera. You have to go spend two hours uh, watching the game. You have to get set up. You have to tear down. You have to edit the video. Like there are so many little things that you would have to do if you do all that by yourself. And if you do all that by yourself, you should charge an absolute premium. If you have someone who's helping you with that, then like for example, you could you could charge. I'm not going to tell you what to charge. You could charge anywhere between five hundred dollars and a thousand dollars. Do that. You could pay the video, videographer like two hundred bucks to go film it and and edit and send it back to you, right? And then you make the difference. And you're spending literally probably thirty to thirty to forty five minutes just doing the voiceover, right? That could be a very scalable thing for you. You could potentially have you know, 10 of these per month and make a few thousand dollars, <laughs> right? Uh, or multiple thousand dollars, right? That, that is something that, you know, that, that in itself is a business, right? But you could absolutely do that, all right? Next one here. Um, this is such a cool 
uh, income stream that most coaches just don't do. Um, and you could start doing it today if you wanted. It's very easy. Um, I call it virtual feedback coaching. And I'll just give you an example. There's a guy that I've worked with for years. His name's Sam Fisher. He owns a football training business called Throw to Win. He has a big social media presence. He has done this so many times, right? And I'll just literally, I'll tell you what he does. <laughs> he is a football trainer and he helps uh, quarterbacks. And what he does is he helps kids with their mechanics. So he puts kids through a mechanics program and he has them do specific throws uh, from different angles and he can coach them based off what they're doing. So they'll send him his throws and he'll break down their throw and he'll charge a premium for that. And he can do that with kids all over the world. Now, you could do that in any sport, basketball, soccer, football, baseball. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It could be any sport where you are coaching kids on their mechanics, right? It is extremely simple. Now, what you would have to do is you just have to figure out how, how is this kid going to get this video to me and what software am I going to use to coach them, right? If you have a computer, you can do this, all right? I'm not going to go into all the nuances on how to set that up. Um, that has been huge for him. Uh, and I'm not going to go into the details of how much he charges, but I would tell you like that is something anybody can do if you just take the time to learn and you just have to learn marketing and learn how to sell a program like that. And if you are someone who's well-respected in your niche, parents will pay you for that. And your own clients that are already working with you will pay for that, <laughs> right? So that is, that is a huge one. Next one here, I'm not a huge fan of merch. Um, a lot of the coaches that I work with, though, they are, all right? So, and I, I've seen that this can be a great income stream for a lot of people if they have this set up correctly, all right? So the ideal scenario here is you have shirts, you have hoodies, you have um, water bottles, you have a lot of branded merch that people buy during the year, right? And the easiest possible way to do this, and I, I made a, a video, uh, maybe it was a month ago, about how to, like the fastest and easiest way to sell shirts. Um, if you go watch that video, like if you don't make at least $1,000, after you watch that video, then I would be absolutely shocked. Like that's assuming you already have clients, right? Uh, but that video will be very helpful as far as the setup. But with merch, if you have multiple items that you can sell throughout the year, all you really need to do is text your clients, hey, I'm thinking about uh, you know, buying these for the players that you work with. What size would your child want? Like you can get pre-orders for this sort of stuff like crazy if you just reach out to your clients. Um, and with that, that would be something that I would all have timed out. So like people who just try to sell stuff and it's just like this out of, you know, out of the blue type of thing, <laughs> like they never end up selling out of their merch and then they end up having their merch sit in their car for the next three years and they just give away for free. I am not talking about that. I am talking about getting paid before you even buy the stuff. Um, and there's also different ways you can connect people to, uh, websites that where they just pre-order the things there, right? You're not even touching the merch, but that can be something it could add multiple thousands of, of dollars of revenue to your business per year. Um, and the other thing too, with merch is you can get other, uh, local, like small businesses to advertise on that. So you could just collect advertising money from them and then they could pay for all the merch, right? Uh, free way of getting merch. The next two, right? If you're watching this video, you're probably waiting for, you know, what the heck is the paid gang? This is, in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to grow your business. And it comes down to relationships. So if you have followed this channel for any amount of time, you know how much I've talked about like building a solid uh, relationship base with a lot of people in your area that could be coaches that could be parents that could be churches that could be high schools like it whoever's in your niche they need to know who you are and 
for example, all right, I'm just going to use this example here. All right, the paid gang, what that is, is that is finding coaches in your area that already have influence over kids that don't have time to train them, right? So these coaches don't have time to train them, but they already have access to a lot of parents, a lot of kids. And what we do is we pay them for referrals, right? So for example, if I paid a high school coach, right, $200 per referral, right? How happy is that person going to be, right? Because he's like, wow, I'm going to get paid $200. Like $200 is a lot of money for high school coaches for doing zero work. All they're doing is they're just referring over people to me. I'm, I'm the one doing the work, right? So think about having a couple of people in your area that you can pay for referrals. And again, these aren't just random people you're paying. These are people that have kids that are within the sport that need help, right? And a lot of coaches that I work with, they'll have like 10 to 20 of these types of people in their area that are part of their paid gang. And they're so willing to pay $200 per referral because like, do the math, all right? If you get, all right, I'm just gonna do the math here. If you get one client and that one client stays in your program for one year, all right? And let's just say on average, they pay $200 per month, all right? What you're doing is you're taking uh, $2,400 and you minus 200, because that's what you give to the paid gang, all right? So the profit there is $2,200. Like you would do that all day long if you set that up. And the person that you're paying, that's just a one-time payment for that referral. Now, that client could stay in your program for a long period, a much longer period of time than one year. They could be getting you referral. Like there's so many benefits to doing that. It's a great way to make extra money within your business, all right? And all we're doing is we're just paying people in your local area to get you clients. <laughs> it's not that hard, all right? It's, it's not this revolutionary idea either. You are just paying for clients, all right? And it's not like you're going out of your pocket to do that either, all right? You could tell them, hey, I'm gonna pay you within 90 days of them joining my program. So you already have the profits at that point and you can pay them back at that point, all right? You can set up terms with people however you want. Now, the next one, I put supplements. I'm also going to put software. Um, and this is affiliate marketing. Now, it, there's, there's a lot of buzz on the internet about affiliate marketing. And there's a lot of ads that probably get shown on my videos about this sort of stuff. And what I'm telling you here is like, this is only going to work if you, number one, if you believe and you consume a product that is good for your clients, right? So here's a bad example of this, right? And this is what a lot of coaches do. They will like see some online ad and be like, oh man, like I bet my clients would like this. And then like, I wonder if anyone would buy it. And then you go to your clients and you get them to try this supplement that you have never even tasted in your life. And then they're like, yeah, we don't like this. And then you're like, oh crap. Like I just tried to give my clients something that they, that I don't even believe in. And most people who do affiliate marketing do this. They don't believe in the product and then they try to get other people to buy it. That is short-term thinking. Long-term thinking is scouring through the internet, finding something that you like, something that you know is going to benefit the kids or the parents of the kids that you work with. And you try it you like it, you believe in it, and you become better at selling it. And a good example of this, all right, there are some coaches that I work with that do supplements. There's some that do software. Like software, that could be uh, getting kids to get signed up with a certain piece of software. Um, and at that point, then, you know, they have that software and every month the, the coach is making money through commissions. Um, and that could be software that built a website that um, kids can use to get recruited to play college soccer, college basketball. I mean, there are so many different little things that you can do. Um, and the big mistakes I see, though, from lots of coaches is they'll try to pitch products to their clients 
that they don't like, or, or sorry, that, yeah, that their clients don't like or that they don't need, right? I'm telling you just from experience because I've been doing affiliate marketing for the last five years. This is such a great income stream if it's done properly. And the thing is you would just need to figure out, well, what is something extra that my clients need that they would want or things that they get now and maybe I can find a better product and link them over to it. And this works very good if you have a lot of clients. So like if you, let's say for example, you have a um, hundred clients and we get 25 of them over to a supplement affiliate, all right? And let's say that that supplement affiliate pays you $25 per month, all right? Let's say you got 25 people times 25. All right, you're making $625 a month literally doing nothing, right? Most human beings on planet Earth cannot make $1 a month on the internet, <laughs> right? And that is, that is the fact. Most people do not know how to make $1 per month of passive income, right? So you can make $625 a month, get 25 of your clients on something like that, um, and again, that's only going to work if it's beneficial to them, if it's valuable to them, if it's something that they want. And that way, every month you get paid and they enjoy a service that, that you recommend, right? That is such a great way to add income if, again, you believe in uh, the product, if you use the product. And for example, I have promoted a lot of different things on YouTube uh, over the last three years. There's been at this point, there's been about five different things. The reason why those have worked really well for me is because I use those things. I know how they work. When people get them, I get on Zoom calls and I show them how to use them. Um, and like ultimately, probably in the next five years um, of me shooting this video, those affiliate streams that I have will probably generate me at least $10,000 per month, right? of me literally not doing anything, right? Because I spent the time uh, promoting those things. I spent the time helping customers learn those things. Um, and that would all be passive at that point. And, and I know like a lot of people like dream of, and they always search, how can I make passive income? Like you have to work hard <laughs> to set things up like that. And again, you have to have customers. Like that's not going to work unless you have customers. So I hope that makes sense. Um, all of these things here, I know this is a longer video. All these things here will absolutely work. Um, you've got to take the time to learn. And if you are watching this video and you're like, man, I want some, some help setting these things up, text me at this number, 210-960-5771. All right. I respond to every single text message that anyone has ever sent to me. Um, text me during the week. I can get back to you there and probably set up a call with you. And uh, hopefully this video is helpful. I feel like it is if you put it to use, uh, put it to work. And uh, that's it. I'll see you later.